Uh, in this week's sawdust session, we showed you how to make mortises and tenons. And, uh, well, uh, talked about that just a little bit more and uh, how to really get a good fit with the tenon and the mortise. Sometimes when you cut a tenon, even if you're completely well set up and you make all your cuts at 90 degrees, you'll put the tenon and the mortise together and find that there's a thin line that you can see there and no matter how you press, that line just won't go away. In order for the tenon to really fit the mortise, you may need to undercut the shoulders, these ledges around the tent. You can do that with a chisel. Uh, and what I'm doing is just cutting uh, and chiseling the, the tenon so that it's about, oh, maybe a two or a three degree angle, uh, angled in towards the tenon itself. I can also use a file for this, angling the file as I file away. Or a cabinet rasp. Cabinet rasp would be a little bit faster, but it uh, also removes stock a little bit quicker. Whatever you use, you get that shoulder to where it's angled in towards the tenon, and then test your fit, and there you go. That line has completely disappeared. It looks like a perfect fit. I'm Nick Engler. Director of the Shopsmith National Woodworking Academy, and we have plenty of tips just like this. Come see us. At Shopsmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects, from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.